Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Costella here. So last week we did some plant science. And if you recall, we um, learned that plants need sun, soil, and water to grow. And we planted some sunflower seeds and it's amazing what's happened in just such a short time. Look inside my pot. My little seeds, well two of them, I planted three seeds. Two of them have sprouted and they have four leaves on them, so they're already using the sun to make energy. So I chose a book called Planting a Rainbow, that's the title, and it's written by Lois Ellert. She's the author and the illustrator. So not only did she write the words, but she also did the beautiful pictures in this book. So if you recall, this is the cover, the front cover. We have the back cover, and we have the spine of our book. Now, when you open a book, remember, inside, there's usually a title page, and it'll have the title again, and it also tells you who wrote the book. So it has written and illustrated by Lois Eller, and then it has some publishing information. So it's pretty cool. Now, when we read a story, remember, we always go from left to right, okay? So I wouldn't start you know, down at the bottom, I always start here. The first word going left to right. So let's go ahead and read it. Planting a rainbow. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. So some plants start from bulbs, things like tulips and hyacinth, they start from bulbs. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. So these are seed packets and you can see I have a couple of them. I also have a, I have a morning glory and a sunflower. They have a morning glory too. For spring to warm the soil and the bulbs. So we have the bulbs waiting down in the ground and they're starting to grow. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. So they use bulbs, they use seeds and little plants that are called seedlings. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in the soil and watch the rainbow grow and grow and grow. Really pretty. We have some red flowers. So there's a tulip, carnations, and a rose. And orange flowers. So we have a poppy and a tiger lily, tulip, and a zinnia and some yellow blooms, daisy, marigold, and daffodil. We grow something green, some beautiful ferns, and some blue flowers. There's those morning glories, delphinium, hyacinth, and corn flowers. And some purple flowers too, crocus, phlox, violets, iris, asters, and pansies. All summer long we pick them and bring them home. What a beautiful bouquet they have. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. And she left a beautiful picture of her flowers on this last page. So, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. So, as you know, I'm going to be watching those little flowers grow, and I hope you remember the parts, not only of a book, but what a plant needs to survive. Remember, it needs water, soil, and sun. And we have front cover, back cover, spine. So when you put your book on your shelf, be sure your spine is facing out. And remember, an author is the person that writes the story. The illustrator does the pictures. Sometimes the person does both. It's pretty amazing. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.